So in today's video, I'm going to show you that how we can hack into WordPress applications. But before going into this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've shown you that how we can actually crawl links, more links for a particular given URL or an endpoint to get more links so that we can increase our attack surface, then go ahead and check that out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Now, with that being said, let's get started. Also, one more thing that if you are new to our channel and if you don't know about our website, which is bepractical.tech, as you can see it right over here, then I recommend you to check that out. We have awesome labs related to cybersecurity as well as web development and awesome content. content. As you can see, if I scroll down, you can see we have some web development contents. We have uh, cybersecurity contents as well. We have open redirection. We have some programming techniques, right? So you can go ahead and check them out. And the main interesting thing of this particular website is the section of lab where we have two labs currently. The first one is web development lab in which uh, you will be able to learn that how we can increase your uh, UI US development skill. And the second one, the cyber security one is the lab where you can practice your hacking skill and where you can improve your bug bounty skills. So let us just wait for it to load. Now all of these labs, currently these labs are only of, of, for account takeover labs, but later on we are going to try to add more and more labs and all of these labs are based on real world scenario which means that let's say you solve this lab then it means that there is a hacker that had actually found a vulnerability by exploiting this particular uh, method, um, uh, bug using the same method right so you can go ahead and check them out and increase your bug bounty hunting skills now with that being said let's get started so uh, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to find a wordpress website so that we can try to hack that particular wordpress so i'm just going to go to google and i'm just going to do a simple google doc right so we know that a wordpress application always have a file name as xmlrpc.php right so that is actually a kind of api that you used to send and save uh, request and response so to do this we can simply uh, do a simple google doc so i'm just going to open my uh, incognito and let me just go to google and let us just wait. So I'm going to type a simple doc to find it. So I'm just going to go to star.com, which means every .com site. And if in URL, that site contains a file, which is xmlrpc.php, then I want Google to return it to me. And let's add additional extension equals to PHP. So the extension is PHP. So because we know that WordPress runs on PHP server, right? So let us hit enter and let's see what happens. Perfect. As you can see, we got some websites. So most of these websites are from. So as you can see, we got one website, cdnetworks.com, right? So if I go to new tab, let's just wait for a few seconds. It's showing me that it is 404 forbidden. No worries. We didn't need to access this file. All we wanted is a WordPress application. Now we know that this particular application is running on WordPress, right? Now what we can do, we can just copy this. And the second thing, well, uh, let me tell you that if you found a website that have this XML RPC accessible, which means that there's still a vulnerability that can be used to perform some actions like uh, username enumeration, uh, password brute forcing denial of service right so you can also deport it but the chances are quite low that the bug bounty program will accept it so now let's just copy this and now the second thing that you need to do is you need to have head over to your kali linux machine so as you can see i have it here by the way if you don't know how to install kali linux without vmware or virtualbox then i recommend you to check out this video of mine you'll be able to learn it now the thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to install this tool which is known as wp scan so let me just type it out here apt install uh, wp scan and minus y flag let's just wait let me provide my root password real quick and let's just wait for a few seconds and it as you can see the file size is around 58.1 kb right now meanwhile it is installing what i can do is i can just go to the website which is known as wpscan.com and here we need to create an account so <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry so i have created an account of mine so i'm just gonna go to login and but in your case you need to have an account and i'm just going to provide my credentials so that we can get logged in real quick uh sorry i need to type this
let's just wait okay as you can see I'm logged in and now as you can see here it is my API token right so you need to copy this and we are going to use it once we have WPS scan installed so as you can see it is installed I'm just going to clear this and now we are ready to go the first thing that we need to do is we need to type WP scan and let's specify minus H flag to see all the available features and functionalities of this particular application so as you can see we have so many functionalities over here which is given by the tool so the important one is the minus minus API token and minus minus URL so I'm just gonna go with that you can uh, go around and play with this so for now I'm just gonna copy this URL and let us just paste it right over here WP scan minus minus URL let's paste the URL over here second thing was to specify the API token so the command was uh, minus minus API minus token right so minus minus API this token let us just copy our token which was over here uh, let me paste it and let's hit enter and now this tool okay let me just update it real quick now this tool will try to find vulnerabilities in the plugins that are being used in the WordPress application now WordPress uses different type of uh, plugins to have different functionalities on their application on the website for example they can use some e-commerce uh, plugins to establish a store on that particular website they can use some payment gateway plugins to enable payment through their gateway right so there are so many applications that they can use maybe they can use some different themes that may be vulnerable so this tool will help us to identify those particular plugins that are outdated and that may be vulnerable to some kind of attacks maybe SQL injection uh, cross scripting etc so let us just wait till it completes and we'll get back to it Yeah, so as you can see we got some data over here so here are some interesting entries that we can use to uh, maybe get some something uh, interesting maybe right so let us just wait till it completes so we got some readme files now it is checking the plugins right so let us just wait for it and it's also showing the wordpress front version that are currently in use and uh, let's go up uh, as you can see we have WP includes WP content plugin WP cache so we can go ahead and we can test these whether these uh, directories are accessible or not I'm just gonna copy this and over here let's paste this right over here let's see whether we are allowed to see the content of it or not okay so we didn't got any force receive forbidden so maybe there is something over here right so what we can do basically is we can try some uh, brute forcing directed brute forcing to find the data or we can just do this okay so WP content is not accessible as well we need to perform uh, directed brute forcing right let's go ahead and play with more of these like uh, CGI bin maybe it's interesting uh, let's just see whether it is accessible or not okay so it's forbidden so similarly we can go ahead and play with all this and hopefully we'll be able to find some kind of vulnerabilities maybe so currently is scanning the plugins meanwhile we can just play with these entries and see whether it can be accessible by anyone or not right so okay, it's showing that page not found maybe we need to do some brute forcing to get more of it right so so that's it so I hope you have understood that how we can perform uh, reconnaissance on w WordPress websites using WP scan. So we'll try to continue the series and add more videos on how we can hack into WordPress application. But for now, it, this is it. If you guys have any doubts, if you guys have any issues at any point, then feel free to comment it on the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies that are currently going on in cyber security as well as web development so you can join it by the link which is displaying over here 
So with that being said, thanks for watching and keep learning.